Hello everybody, my name is Trevor Ursulescu, I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Four lane slot car racing. A career. We made it work. Digital four lane. So quickly check out this video, it's going to be a short one, and see how I got it to work. This is a modification video from a previous video that I did. A little less experimentational, now a little more solid. And um, I did put some crosses into this track, but it's only to stop certain <laughs> of our club members from racing the outer lane on the rails at full out, flat out speed, because I want to get these guys racing a little more fairly. But anyway, come and check this video out. You got to see how I did it. Four lane slot car racing. Here we go. Three, four, three, two, one, begin. So here we have our four lane strip and we've used the start finish gate from Carrera. And then a fuel lane, and I got a second fuel lane from Matthew. And I put all this in front of the old Ed's gas station. And Rat Fink here is going to watch to see this work. And here's our command, our digital tower. We're at lap zero. So we got our AC Cobra right here, and away we go. So it counts on lane one, counting lane two, count lane three, and count lane four. Four lane racing. Now there's something here that I've got to make note of and I'll just show you in a sec. So previously I said that you would need a cross here. To get power from, well, like these, from this track into this track. Because remember in the older video it was a dead spot. Well, I found out that this cross is completely unnecessary. If, in fact all these crosses are completely unnecessary, if you wire it with some wire underneath the track. And I'll just show you that in a sec here. So here's how I got power to the back rails without using the crosses. So first off, I broke apart this track section here just to show you what it looks like on the flip side. Now, these are wires, these brown wires are wires that I used from an old lamp or something that somebody gave me. We were trying to ground out the track for the static electricity problem that this building sometimes has and um, these are what we used. So I just cut them all and uh, Okay, I'm not going to pull that out, but I cut it and stripped the copper wiring back a bit, wound it up, coiled it over and stuffed it in the hole here so we'd get contact onto these rails. So we've got the lower rail on track one, and then the upper rail on track one. Lower rail track two, upper rail track two. I hooked these together so it would be one piece for moving. And what I did is I put the wire on this outer track here because this is like positive and this would be negative or vice versa. I don't know what the schematic is, but one is one and one is the other. So that's going up from the bottom on track one to the bottom of the track two there. And this is going into the top of that. And this one's jumping into there and this one into there. And that's basically how you can get power into your track without having to use the crosses. And the digital signal will actually travel up through the wires as well and register up here and here. So there you go. Find out more about Monster Hobbies by tuning into our Facebook page. Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. We've got uh, our gaming events, our, our Warhammer nights, our slot car races, and we always update that site more than our old uh, monsterhobbies.com um, internet page. So check us out there and uh, like us and friend us and share us and everything that's all fun about Facebook. And we'll see you soon at Monster Hobbies.